Hello friends on July 14, 2023 at 2.35 p.m., ISRO is about to launch Chandrayaan-3 mission from its Sadish Dhawan Space Center, and this time interestingly. His main goal is going to be soft landing, which he tried during Chandrayaan-2, but the mission was unsuccessfully failed. Simply speaking, on this current mission, he will try to land on the moon in such a controlled way that there is no damage to his lander, and if ISRO can successfully execute this mission and through Chandrayaan-3 lander the investigation of the moon's south pole begins as soon as possible. So India can become that first country, who will be able to practically proof the real story of the birth of the Earth with this data. So now the question comes that how will Chandrayaan-3 do all this? Which such sensors are fitted with it? And what else can these sensors do apart from the core objective of the mission? Well, today we are going to answer all these questions in this video. For the time being, just understand that this mission of Chandrayaan-3 is not only going to be interesting but also equally challenging, because first of all soft landing on Moon is more difficult than soft landing on Mars. And yes, the same Mars which has 33 times more craters in comparison to the Moon. Now let me explain so look here as you can see there are 77 government space agencies all over the world. Out of them, only 11 countries have not successfully done moon mission but only 3 countries are America, Russia and China which are so far on lunar surface but have been able to make a soft landing. Whereas Mars, Mars is far away. Out of the 5 countries that have carried out space missions on them, 2 have successfully landed on them. That is, the success rate of landing on Mars has increased to 40% and on the other hand, it is up to 27% on the lunar surface. Now this is because look where on average a spacecraft takes 7 months to reach Mars and there the spacecraft is reaching the moon in just 3 days. So, even if by mistake the path of the spacecraft gets deflected due to any reason while going to the moon, so it has to be maneuvered in such a short time i.e. controlling and correcting its path becomes more difficult. Time is less, distance is also less. Due to this the difficulty becomes more and even more problem arises. When the spacecraft is not landed in the calculated time frame, basically, the time of spacecraft landing is being estimated on the basis of the speed of the spacecraft. It means that if the speed of the spacecraft is 20,000 km per hour, then it is getting a window of 15 to 30 minutes to land on the moon. It is game over for that spacecraft i.e. whether you change the path of the spacecraft or not, it is about to crash. Above all, the problem of soft landing does not end here only. Because even if SAPO starts the touchdown in this time frame, there are other things that will create problems in the landers, such as the local atmosphere of that landing side. C. As we all know that there is an atmosphere on Mars which slows down the speed of the lander by creating friction, and that is why parachutes can be used along with Thursdater for landing on Mars. But due to the lack of atmosphere on the Moon, the entire load falls on the thrusters and these thrusters create problems in landing because they try to land on the lunar surface just like the extra powerful thrusters. They increase the risk of Moon's low soul flying and entering the delicate sends which can spoil the mission. Now on top of these problems, the area where Chandrayaan-2 had to be landed last time was the south pole of the moon. Now there are more letters, valleys and mountains on their south pole, not specifically in comparison to the whole moon. Targeting suites for landing and then accurately controlling and landing the lander separately on the same sweet spot is a very difficult task in itself. Apart from this, while landing on the south pole of the moon, the temperature dress is typically fluctuating. Because the moon takes about 28 days to complete its one rotation, the temperature of the side facing the sun reaches 120 degrees Celsius for two weeks. And there the temperature of the other side remains up to minus 230 degrees Celsius and the South Pole. Well, South Pole is the junction of these two regions. Lately, ISRO also lands its lander on the South Pole. Still, there is a danger of breaking communication with it. So look, you might not know, but it remains dark for almost 24 hours on the instrument pole of the moon. Even when there is day, only the horizon is visible, because of which some areas hidden behind the creator and mountains have not seen the sun since the formation of two moons. Just all these reasons, that is not getting enough time to detect the landing side, loss of sensor due to dust, high temperature of lunar south pole, 
head office attack and communication issues. Many times lunar soft landings fail due to these. The chances of coming are negligible. To solve the difficulty of soft landing, they have found a lucky spot for Chandrayaan 3's lander where there is either an uneven head office full of craters and mountains, nor bad temperature. Chandrayaan 3 will raise its orbit while circling the Earth five times so that it reaches the optimal speed. This will happen that it will fly towards the moon like a slingshot, so that there will not be much fuel used in the initial mission of Chandrayaan 3 and this fuel can be used at the time of landing. After this, even when the time of landing comes, this gold has become a unique plan. Israel will not land directly on the lunar surface in the traditional way, as thrusters from this side can blow up a lot of dust and spoil the senses. So instead, Chandrayaan-3 will make a reducing orbit around the moon to reduce its speed a little before landing and also to properly inspect the landing site once again. For that Chandrayaan-3 is going to probe the surface of the moon with its rover. Or in state, not from his lander, he is going to relay signals between the rover and the earth by keeping his lander standing in the sun. If you want to see more interesting videos like this then don't forget to subscribe or follow the channel. It is free for you but it helps me a lot.